we're playing Fatal Midnight. This is from itch.io, a little indie game, short horror one, and it made me jump ridiculously last time, but the sound was all off, so I had to redo it. So let's try. Try again. My parents went on vacation and I was left to look after my sister. She has some problems. Sometimes she's very strange. So I had to look after her. Everything was fine until I heard a strange noise in the middle of the night. Damn those sounds. My sister's probably feeling bad again. I have to check on her. Hopefully it doesn't glitch and stuff too bad. Hey, honey, how you doing? Lover duck. She's a lover duck. You're a lover duck. Hopefully it doesn't want to have these glitchy in it. Oh. What I might actually do is I'll take myself off to this one. It's only short. Look at that. Now this is a horror game. So now you will be able to tell. Where are you, sister? Strange she's not there. I need to find her and ask how she is. You must find us. And now this house is, it might not even be the weirdest design, but for me it was. It was just really, really difficult to kind of figure it out because that door goes to another side, which is, it's, just, it's very, very stretched out. See, there's random doors, places, and random lounge rooms, and see new, more random doors. Daddy's bedroom. I don't think she's in here. The controls for this are very weird, and like I wasn't pressing move then, but I kept moving anyway. We've got a barge in here. A nice meal. What are we having? Let's have a look. Spaghetti and meatballs. How oh, nice. Smashing the face with the door. It happens to me in real life. I don't know why it wouldn't happen during the game. It's a very strange setup. Strange these doors were open before. I feel like he's drunk, the character, because the way he moves and just the way he sees, it's just the way he sees with his eyes, like the cloud around his eyes, it just feels like he's a bit... Something not quite right. Our protagonist here. Oh. This is... Some star where you go. We're not opening. Oh, yeah, yeah. The fuck?
magical disappearing weary appearing shower curtain. No, it's the game. All the game. It's a very strange house. I'd love to see the schematics of the house. What's the right words? Schematics. Or oh, floor plan. Come back here, sister. Last time I played, I think I, I managed to find the room she was in first off, and she screams at me and scared the crap out of me. They knock, 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 and on to the doors. Okay. Oh, I'm doing much better with finding where things are this time. Last time I walked around for bloody forever. It's a bloody torch. Yeah. God, why is everything broken? It's shattered there. Huh. Walls are all smashed up, bits shattered everywhere. Okay. And then she was in there, and then we went out here. And I bloody lost myself again. I'd lose myself in a Bunnings. Okay. Maybe I came down the wrong stairs or something. No, there we go. Okay. Down into the jets. Jesus. Is this? Where did she go? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get out! Jesus Christ! <sighs> Holy mackerel. I was just scared to ever love him. Knock boxes out of me. Fucking fuck, what was that? There's clearly something wrong with her. Clearly. Oh, jeez Louise, I'm so glad you didn't see my face then. It's bloody morning, like, the last time I played it in the dark, and I decided after doing the first run through and then going, oh, the sound's fucked, I went, yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to play this again in the dark right now. I need to sleep at some point. Okay. So she's probably gone upstairs again. Makes sense. Yeah, I literally, I, I, my hands went from the keyboard and mouse. First my sister knocks me out and then the lights go out. Fucking great. And my hands went straight to my face. I swear, I hope I didn't scream as loud as she did. Oh my gosh. Doesn't help I've got the sound right up in my ears. 
Yeah, can you not call me? I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to find my sister. She's like haunting us or something. Why is it like the phone rang, so why is it making that noise? Hey son, I know what happened to her. Go to your room. Under the bed, there is something that will help you. Donkey donkey dookie. Yeah, look, there's something not quite right about this dude. I need to go to my room, there's something under my bed that will help me. Stairs. The, look the around his eyes and stuff, how the image is all weird. The way he walks, the way he sees things. Something's done, done, fucked up. That's not how we said it's sausage. So this isn't our room either, is it? Let's do the same boom. The thing boom. What room is this in here? Oh, not the bathroom. That was no, another bathroom. I'd love to live in this house. Could you imagine living in this house? How big it is? I mean, obviously not with the whatever the flying buttress is going on here, but it's a laundry in between the two halves of the house. I'm just selling it now. Oh, Jesus! Okay. Not sorry. I guess I'll just go to my bedroom. Holy fuck. I thought this was her bedroom. I swear that was my bedroom. Mustn't be. Where is you surely I'd know where my own bedroom is. Oh god. So did I. So, well, oh my god. Keep in mind this is a free one. Yeah, this is a free one from itch.io. Yeah, I had to send the sound out a bit. Like, every time she screamed, it went right into my, I don't know, fucking neighbor's ears. Okay, we're on the other side of the laundry. Obviously, I missed my bedroom. So maybe, oh, there we go. Oh, shit. So she was in my bedroom. I'm just going to pretend nothing. What's going on here? Layers and layers and layers of dust. I want to go under my bed. Oh shit, that's out here. Hey Mr. Lency, how you doing? It is. Oh. Well. Sorry sis. Too bad you can't stay. We're wearing gloves now. I'm good, thank you. Scared by the jeeper buzz of myself. <gasps> what the fuck? Terrorists win. What? The terrorists win. Taking his pills. Let's try that again. As it turns out, he has a mental disability and is taking pills. This led to a tragic accident. In reality, the sister was trying to get away from her brother by hiding from him to preserve her life. The sister was not possessed by demons, and it was all Daniel's fantasy. Neighbours who heard the screams and gunshots in place impatiently called the police, hoping to help the unfortunate girl, but there was no way to save her. The girl was shot with a shotgun. Daniel is put in a mental hospital. 